Ladies and gentlemen, cheers, absolutely. I think I just broke my lens. We are midnight meat training to 1 million subs. And yes, that's an actual movie with Bradley Cooper. The Midnight Meat Train. <laughs> Speaking of meat, at one point in my life, I thought Joe Rogan was cool. I thought he was this alpha male Chad podcast host who spoke his uncensored mind and did manly outdoor things. And then I grew up. I realized very quickly, he's just a bro. He likes to confirm his own biases and he thinks he's right all the time. Are you guys telling me that you didn't know the key to success is rolling around on a sweaty mat with other men, eating wild game elk meat and doing a few kettlebell swings? I don't like being a meathead. I don't think it's a good personality trait. I used to have meathead tendencies. I used to speed eat in my anabolic window and take shirtless pictures for validation of other people on the internet. It was a time before my third eye was truly open and fully developed. And that's why today's video is sponsored by Blinkist to help you guys expand your knowledge and open up your third eye. Does it ever happen to you guys where you go and sit down to read a book and you just don't have the time? You're sitting there rereading every single paragraph, not absorbing a single piece of information? I've recently discovered Blinkist, which makes it easy and seamless to learn new things. Instead of slogging through some Gordon Wood, my boy Gordon Wood, trying to get wicked smart, I can just get all the highlights in about 15 minutes. You guys can use Blinkist for self-improvement, development, parenting, marriage, relationships, I mean, sky's the limit. Some of the greatest things about Blinkist is its 14 million user base. It allows you to digest long books in about 15 minutes, and you guys can access your entire library offline. If you're doing a little bit of traveling, you're on the plane, boom, open up Blinkist, you're good to go. I've personally been using Blinkist on my phone while I walk my dogs to learn new things about stoicism and cooking. Two completely unrelated topics, but hey, I think they're pretty damn cool. I recommend you guys check out How to Think Like a Roman Emperor by Donald Robertson. If I'm gonna take over this platform, I have to learn from the best. The first hundred people who go to Blinkist.com forward slash Philion are going to get unlimited access for seven days and 25% off the full membership if you'd like to upgrade. The seven day trial for Blinkist is completely free and you can cancel at any time. Thank you Blinkist for sponsoring this video. Let's jump back to Bro Jogan. Joe Rogan's mindset about fitness is totally backwards. He talks about jujitsu as if it can cure cancer, intermittent fasting as this lifestyle weight loss hack, and elk meat as the best protein source in the entire world. I find it really weird how his followers and listeners put him on this pedestal as if he knows so much about everything when he really just has a base knowledge about a lot of different topics. None of his audience can afford a sensory deprivation tank, a cryogenic recovery chamber, time to go wild game elk hunting, and I don't know, a lifetime supply of testosterone to be a podcast host? I'm going to use this clip posted about a week ago to demonstrate my claim that Joe Rogan is delusional about a lot more than you think. Joe Rogan analyzes the Chris Cuomo fake weight controversy. The clip that Joe and Tim Dillon are talking about is Chris Cuomo, one arm shoulder pressing and a hundred pound dumbbell and then curling it as if it's 15 pounds. There is no chance in hell that you can defy the laws of gravity and manipulate a weight like that. Chris Cuomo's wrists would snap off of his limbs. The biggest and strongest dudes in the world struggle with this. Cuomo tosses this thing around as if it's a toy because it is. It literally has his name on it. It's a gag. It looks like his wife gave it to him as like an office present. It was like, here honey, whenever you do something nice for New York or say something funny on TV, eh, just curl it. You know, you're big and strong. We love you. It it's a gag gift. It's not real. Chris, what are you doing? Let's get a little pre-show pump. What does that know? say? Uh, Cuomo prime time. Hashtag let's get after it. But here's another one. There's a picture of him sitting at his desk holding a hundred pound dumbbell up in the air and bodybuilders are calling bullshit. Because it is bullshit. It doesn't take a brain surgeon to realize this. Have you ever held a hundred pounds, Joe? Oh, interesting. I didn't All, see that. Also because of the angle Bruh. he's holding it. Now, yeah. Chris Cuomo is, <clears throat> look, I'm Italian, I could say this. He's a guinea. Right. A lot of those guineas are stupid strong. They're they're monkey strong. I bet he is. They're, they're a lot of them. What? <laughs> First of all, let's analyze that. I'm Italian, so I can say this. Italians are strong as shit. 
Well, guess what, Joe? I'm Italian, so I guess you're right. Your boomer logic for once checks out. I'm being sarcastic. That, that, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> like, what? Dumb stereotypes that have no grounding whatsoever. Oh, Italians are strong. Guess what, Joe? I'm Italian. I'm strong. But the two don't correlate. You think a diet of fresh mutz and gabagool is gonna make you stronger than other people? No. It's just, it's just like that cultural tall tales. There's a kidding. guy that used to run a sandwich shop yeah. near our house who could curl his own body weight 10 times. Jeez. And he nobody believed him, and this guy barely lifted weights. And he did it before a wrestling meet. He was like a big time wrestler in Newton South. Yeah. And he wound up losing the wrestling meet. It was like legend in the town. Are you sure you're not describing like Mario and Luigi's long lost Nintendo cousin? The sandwich shop guy? <laughs> because his arms were blown out. Because wow. he made like a hundred bucks on showing a bet. People. <laughs> showing people that he'd curl his body weight ten times. Uh, Joe just goes on on this anecdotal rant about this one man in a sandwich shop who could curl his body weight ten times and uses that as the logic as to say why all Italians are jacked as shit and are so strong they can dumbbell press a hundred pounds. I don't know if he's trying Frank to be serious subs. with this. this is... <clears throat> no, he's, he's fucking serious, bro. Okay. This is where we get our news in America. No, is there's a photo and he's wearing a t-shirt. This is different. That's real. That's a real weight. That's real. That's a real weight. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Whether or not that weighs 100 pounds, it might weigh 100 pounds. This man is talking in circles. He just contradicted himself. That's a real weight. Whether or not it weighs 100 pounds. I don't believe that he has a fake 100 pound weight. I do. <laughs> do your eyes not deceive you, Joe? Look at that. He's a big person. I think that guy's he's pretty a strong large. Dude. I'm sure he's not. I'm sure the weight isn't fake. Well, let's see here. I'm Italian. I'm bigger than Chris Cuomo. I'm a large human being, and I can't even come close to doing that. <laughs> My arms would snap off. I saw these people that are complaining and saying it's not real and all this shit. I... Listen. You can do that. That can be done. Yeah, by Larry Wheels, Half Thor Bjornsson, and like a few other people. <laughs> people who think you can't do that are crazy. He's right. bigger than me. Look, he's bigger than me. Joe, you're 5'7 and on TRT. And there's a video of me on Instagram with a 92 pound kettlebell and I'm cleaning it and pressing it 10 times over my head. Right. You're not the pillar that everybody looks up to and is like, well, if Joe can do it, I can do it too. He's bigger. That guy's a lot bigger than me. Right. He could hold 100 pounds over his head and right. do it like that. Right. Like if I have a 100 pound dumbbell in my in my chest, my arm right now, I could press it. He's bigger than me. He could do yeah. it. Some people are fucking strong. Chris Cuomo is sitting down shoulder pressing at this speed with a 100 pound dumbbell. Look, I really don't care that Chris Cuomo posted this. I kind of find it hilarious that he's just trolling the news networks and they're like, oh, the internet thinks it's real. The internet thinks it's fake. I just care about Joe Rogan thinking this is real. He is a platform of 10 million gullible people that actually believe this. I mean, the dislike to like ratio isn't even that bad. 12K to 2.5K. That tells me that there's a problem here. Yeah, I don't have any problem with doing that. It's when he does Look the news. Look at this. Challenge That's to Chris funny. Cuomo. Prove you're not a liar. Prove you can actually lift that weight you're shown with. See, this guy just wants attention. I think Joe has been playing too much Among Us. I think he's trying to pull like a 9,000 IQ imposter play. I think he's either trolling everyone by saying that this is real, or he's just a meathead. Because Joe Rogan is seeking attention by claiming this is real. Because you should know that there's people that are freak strong that could lift that. Yeah, I'm sure there are people that can do that, but guess what? Chris Cuomo is not one of them. I guarantee it. Let me get this straight. Joe Rogan is running a $100 million podcast operation out of a neon red oven of a podcast set. This thing looks like it's apocalypse proof. This looks like this is filmed inside of a submarine, and he can't get a single fact checker? Just another guy besides Jamie, or I don't know, at least listen to Jamie once in a while? I don't know if he's trying to Frank be serious subs. with this. this is... <coughs> no, he's, he's fucking serious, bro. Poor Jamie tried to chime in, and Joe just shut up. He's like, oh, this is real. Shut up, you don't eat elk meat. You don't know anything about fitness. Get out of here. Puss boy. Let's check out some of the comments, see what the people are saying. We got Johnny Candido. Joe needs to lower the DMT dose if he thinks that a 100 pound dumbbell curl is real. I can't believe he says this could be real, dot dot dot. 
Seriously, my mind is blown. <laughs> my third eye is at a loss for words. <laughs> There's not really much else to say. Just admit when your idols can be wrong, okay? Just do that for me at least. Have the audacity to be like, yeah, Joe Rogan is talking out of his ass. <laughs> like, people can be wrong. It's not a big deal. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash phillyonlive. Join the Discord. It's an absolute party in there. And if you guys want me to make a video about something, we have a channel within the Discord called Video Submissions. Send the link, brief description, and who knows? Maybe next video will be the video that you guys submitted. Oh, hi, Mom. What's up? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to defrost the elk meat. No, I gotta go. I gotta go to jujitsu class. I'll talk to you later. Right, hey, Philly, I'm pulled up, fuck your bitch Anybody wanna run up, put them all up in the ditch Push boys, no go, better back up quick You punk, don't flop, bitch, you ain't shit